If there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, well, we've got no time for excuses. Not because the bitter legacy of slavery and segregation have vanished entirely, they have not. So I don't want to hear any more about how far we've come when paid public servants can pull a drive-by on a 12-year-old playing alone in a park in broad daylight, killing him on television and then going home to make a sandwich. If you have a critique for the resistance, for our resistance, then you better have an established record of critique of our oppression. This is not for me. This is for the real organizers all over the country, the activists, the civil rights attorneys, the struggling parents, the families, the teachers, the students that are realizing that a system built to divide and impoverish and destroy us cannot stand if we do. Because the more we learn about who we are and how we got here, the more we will mobilize.